Hello, here is a video about an espresso cup commission. So I was asked to make six espresso cups with no handles and just in my usual blue, but I actually ended up making eight because something normally goes wrong in ceramics, um, but nothing went wrong so I actually have two left over. Anyway, um, we had a lovely Christmas, I hope you all did too. Uh, it was very quiet because of COVID restrictions. Um, I was going to ask whereabouts are all of you from? If you want to leave it in the comments, please do. I shall leave you now so you can watch this video in peace. I hope that you enjoyed that video so I made eight and then here is me trimming them I actually left them for probably about a week in between um, I used one of the pots that I had trimmed first to see what size I needed to get them and then here is me cleaning off my bats well my wooden block sometimes they throw on bats but because these were small I decided to just throw on the wheel and then scoop them off I use cobalt oxide to colour it took me a while to work out the um, quantities of cobalt to um, the clay slip I had many an issue with that and I finally worked it out you don't want it too thick else it will bubble um, but you don't want it too thin else you won't be able to see it it won't be as vibrant basically um, so after many a trial I did work that out and I worked out the exact shop quantity that I needed and then here is me putting it on clean the wheel with a sponge um, so it doesn't get on the rim of the cup and then I put it roughly in the middle doesn't matter if it's slightly off because I'm not trimming or anything and then I go ahead with a damp sponge and slide it down the side and then normally I will get some more water from the pot and then put some more on 
this time more thickly well just a lot more water and then I get my cobalt and just swirl it up at some point I just want to make sure there's enough water on it and then that's how I get my lovely flowy blue color getting it off is sometimes a little bit difficult I normally just sponge off the top to make sure it's dry um, and then give it a little wiggle sometimes I have to put my hand inside it because I don't want to smudge all of the outside um, and that's about it Sometimes the pieces get a little bit stuck just because I'm using water to decorate. Um, just giving them a little wiggle makes them come off. And then I transferred them to a board and decided to go and put them outside in the sun so they would dry a little bit quicker for the bisque firing. drying in the sun hopefully they'll be dry after lunch because I'm going out this afternoon and then I'll put them in the kiln. For those wondering I have a Nabatherm top 80. I'm very happy with it and um, it was from Hot Clay. If you'd like me to do like a video about it or about my wheel I'd be happy to. It comes with its own um, digital what are they called display things so I know what it's doing and what temperature it's at and it's quite big And this is the finished product. Um, I'll insert some pictures of the six together. I didn't actually get any video before I sent them off. But um, this is what it looks like and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>